Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise, DrMcGuff.com, and Body by Science. I'm going to give you another study that I would like to see done. Uh, lots of people nowadays are taking metformin because of its uh, life extending properties. Uh, metformin is a drug that's commonly used in type 2 diabetes. Um, but it's been found in studies that people on metformin have had a significant extension of their lifespan. And the mechanism is thought to be the drug's action in the mitochondria at the level of complex one. Now for quick review, the mitochondria is the powerhouse inside the cell. It takes the substrate from anaerobic glycolysis in the cytosol of the cell. That gets pumped into the mitochondria and it goes through multiple chemical reactions um, delivering energy to the electron transport chain. And what this is doing is this double membrane here, they're using little proton pumps. And complex one uses a proton pump that literally looks like a little wind vane that spins around and pumps hydrogen ions upstream against a gradient. You use this hydrogen ion gradient stacked up and towards the end, those hydrogens are dropped back through in the direction of the gradient. And that energy is used to generate a large amount of ATP. Well, the metformin binds complex one. The peculiar thing about complex one is it sits on the mitochondria very close to its membrane. And it's a very oxidative species that's unstable so part of cell senescence and dying is the result of aged mitochondria and the, com and the complex one being fragile kind of exploding into the cell and causing the cell to undergo apoptosis or cell death. Metformin binds complex one and slows that process and it's thought to be why it has um, life extending benefits. However, when you bind complex one, you somewhat slow the movement of the chemical reactions through the mitochondria. That can cause pyruvate to enter the mitochondria more slowly. And in under situations of stress, where you're delivering pyruvate more quickly to the mitochondria, you can develop a lactic acidosis because as pyruvate stacks up, lactate dehydrogenase acts upon pyruvate to make lactic acid. So in stress situations like infections or sepsis or high intensity exercise, you may generate a fairly severe lactic acidosis. And this is where my study comes in. I would like to see a study of subjects training in high intensity fashion, big five workout, whatever you like, but a standard high intensity two failure protocol with rush factor included, so to try to generate as much lactic acidosis as possible. And going through a standardized workout, doing an arterial blood gas at the conclusion of the workout, measuring blood pH and serum lactate. Then, repeat the study with the same sets of subjects, but this time, after they've been on metformin long enough to, to be equilibrated with the medication, then repeat the process and see if the lactic acidosis is more severe. Since more and more people are um, availing themselves of the opportunity to take metformin for hopeful life extension benefits, this might be something pertinent to those of us in the HIT community that are using strength training for its life prolonging and health span prolonging benefits. So another study I would like to see someone do. This is Doug McGuff. Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, DrMcGuff.com, signing out. Thanks.